sell and trade with friendly staff and great prices at FusionGamingOnline.com slash SpikeFeeders. Plus, every purchase you make there helps support this channel. Hey everybody, Jim coming at you from the Spike Feeders studio here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Before we get into the season finale, I want to talk to you about something that's near and dear to our hearts. Here at the Spike Feeders, community is extremely important to us. We want to make sure that we're using our platform to help people as much as we can. We're going to have five Spike Feeders mats signed by all of the Spike Feeders and our special guest, as well as one of his play mats signed by him and us. All of the proceeds from these auctions are going to go to charities that are important to us. So not only can you get your hands on a sweet one-of-a-kind play mat, you'll be helping us do some good in our community. We're going to post more details later, but for now, enjoy the season finale. Hey everybody, Spike Feeders here. We uh, are coming at you with the season finale. Season two is uh, coming to a close. Uh, but just like we told you before, don't despair because we have something real cool for you. A special guest. It's not Elliot. It's not me. <laughs> is, it, is it me? Well, I mean, you're a guest. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, no. So we, we probably cut to Bill's face cam on that one. Yeah. <laughs> you're wondering who this guy is. So why, why don't you tell uh, us? Who, who are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm Mitch from the Commander's Quarters. Hey, the you. Mitch from the I, Commander's Quarters? I would be that guy, yeah. Wow. Well, how did we wrangle that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't how know do we, either. <laughs> how, do we, how do we get to your stuff? You got a YouTube channel? Or I do. I, this thing called YouTube. They have a channel. You can watch stuff. Uh, Deck Techs. Yeah, go check yeah. it out. Yeah, Commander's Quarters. Who oh. are we kidding? You you know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah everybody knows who Mitch is. But yeah, we're super excited, and so we are actually doing a uh, bit of a theme. Uh, we figured uh, because the most recent set was Ravnica, and there's a ton of sets that are called Ravnica. Mm -hmm. We figured we would go with Ravnica lore commanders. And on top of that, not just Ravnica lore commanders, uh, we are also sticking to a $200 budget. So as of the filming of uh, this video, all of our decks that you see on this video are under $200 US as of uh, TCG player prices. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't believe us, we'll post the deck lists. So they'll probably not be $200 by the time this video comes out. But, you know, that's not... <laughs> that's how magic works. Yeah, so uh, I am starting with uh, Krenko Mob Boss. I went with a mono red deck. It is very fast and very fun. I thought you said Ravnica. Is, is Krenko... Krenko is, is a Ravnica character oh, from the okay. Ravnica plane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, sometimes, sometimes people got to be from somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Nobody's from M13. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm playing Borborygmos Enraged, my pride and joy. I'm, I'm really excited to throw some, uh, some trees and some mountains at some people. Big rocks. <laughs> um, I am playing Experiment Kraj, which is a blue-green combo deck. It features a lot of creatures and a lot of things that uh, use plus one, plus one counters. So let's see if that even happens. Nice. Uh, I'm playing Tasa Karlov, and a lot of things are going to die. <laughs> and I think I recognize Tasa Karlov. You've done a deck tech. I have. I have done a deck tech, and actually uh, a Break the Bank as well, I believe, cool. came up for it as well. So there have been two episodes on Tasa because nice. she is... A ton of fun. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So, yeah. so I think Mitch is going to start us off. I will be starting us off. Um, I will start off with a... Oh, sorry. I'll start drawing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to start. I'll draw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll play planes, and I'll pass the turn. Cool. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a mountain, and I'll pass the turn as well. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a forest, and I'm going to play... Oh, no. Not a, a. You probably don't see this one very often in our format, actually. I'm going to play a Groundskeeper. Oh, I actually like that card. Yeah, yeah it's like pretty good in this deck, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Should also that one to have it be a Scotsman on there. A greased Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> My retirement days. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a Forest, and I'm going to play a CEDH All Star, format defining a Rochi Leaf Collar. Ooh. I don't even know what card does. You don't need to. Now I do. <laughs> yeah. uh, I will draw for the turn. I will play a Caves of Quillos, and I will tap both to put a Marble Diamond in play tapped. Whoa, Whoa. ramping. I know. It's in okay. my good budget <laughs> format? <laughs> I will pass the turn. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw a I'll play this mountain. And I am going to cast Grenzo. 
have a grazer. Uh, oh. Not Dungeon Warden. Oh, I was going to say, not Dungeon Warden. Yeah. <laughs> we already made that mistake. Yeah, once. no, it's not that one. I watched that episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to untap and draw a card for my turn. Well, it's actually funny that I, I yelled at him for ramping because uh, I'm going to play this Blighted Woodland and uh, I'm going to cast a Rampant Growth. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Off my rampant growth, I'm going to find a mountain Ooh. into play, tapped. And then, uh, hmm, I think I'm just going to pass the turn. All right. All right. I'll untap. Draw a card. And I think I'm going to play an island. I'm just going to break the mold a little bit here. I know everybody's been uh, ramping except for Grenzo over there, so I'm just going to cast a rampant growth. All right, and off of the rampant growth, I'm going to find a forest and put it into play, tapped. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. Draw for turn. It's a swamp. Oh, let's just do this. I'm going to... I'm going to ping myself for one with the caves, adding a black mana. Take myself down to 39. I'm in last place. <laughs> just, off the Soul just, want point, just want to point that out. Yeah, off uh, the throne. I will be casting uh, Nether Trader. Oh, Ooh, I love that card. I love that card. Very spicy card. I love it. All right, I will be tapping a Plains and a Marble Diamond to put in Swift Foot Boots. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then um, I will go to combat. Mm-hmm. Oh, got it. Just does, it just has haste. It has haste. Then oh, Shadow. It does. Uh, so it cannot block, so it is pointless for me to <laughs> not attack. Um. Who am I scared of? I will swing it. <laughs> I'll for one. <laughs> uh, I'll go to 39. Yeah, you will. <laughs> thought I thought Don't that was. <laughs> My Jedi mind tricks the, never work. Your Jedi mind tricks are head motion. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're including that. <laughs> I will then pass the turn. Elliot's super subtle politics. We're going to do a podcast on that. <laughs> <laughs> How to politic. <laughs> Just... It won't come through too well on the audio only, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just do this. <laughs> I'm going to play a mountain for my turn. I didn't see that coming. Mm-mm. What's it like having a perfect mana base? It's, like, real good. <laughs> uh, I will move to combat. Uh-oh. That checks out. I'm going to defend my attacks. I'll attack Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, I'm, I'm not everyone's doing it. <laughs> I'll go to 37. Trigger Grenzo. Yeah. What do you I want to do? I will exile the top card in my library. No, nope. right. Top card in my library. library. Ooh. Hi, yeah. That was close. It's a tireless tracker. Oh. You want that? He has no tires you whatsoever. <laughs> I'm like, don't think I want that. Really? You, you thought you had three Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Better things to so much value. Oh. oh. Wow. wow. Um, That's sh- <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to my second main base. Here you go. Uh, I will cast Thousand Year Elixir, which is a much better three drop. That's a good I will Unfortunately, pass the two cards. I'd like to argue, and yet. <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw for my turn. Uh, speaking of uh, format defining staples, I'm going to play Forest. Oh, okay. Can most decks play one? Yeah. <laughs> At least. Get around Blood Moon, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add four mana to my mana pool and play. Calney gem. Oh, okay. Trigger. So when it enters, I'm going to return this mountain and this forest to my hand. Uh-huh. And I think I'm going to pass the turn again. All right. So I will untap. Draw a card. I'm going to play a forest. And since I have four mana available, I think what I'm going to do is cast Croson Restorer. Oh, it's a good one. And uh, then I will pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. Draw for turn. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna cast. Let's tap. One, two, and three. That's just for colorless. Let's go with Tesa. Or's upside. Oh, other Tesa. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to any effect, sorry. No. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move to uh equip the Swift Boots on um, yeah. said Tesa. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Some might say. Some might say. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move to combat. Uh, Nether Trader. Coming here this way. Wait this time. Okay. Ah. 
Oh, I'll, I'll spread the love. Just yeah, just switch it out. Yeah, I got. I got a thirty-nine. I don't, I don't know. All right, okay. I will. Uh, we'll pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw a card. I have a feeling I know how this turn's gonna go, but you know, I, I think I understand. I, I don't want to make any uh, crazy bets. So he plays a land. I want to play his mountain ball. Okay. Oh, oh, got it. Right. What were the odds on that one? <laughs> But it cast something for four. Mm, hmm. Probably something for four. I'm going to tap four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Krenko Mob Boss. Oh, oh. Can you guys see the future? <laughs> and I will uh, move to combat? I'm not to combat. It? Uh, it's a one two. Yeah. One, two. I'm going to attack Elliot for two. I have no effects. 35. Trigger Grenzo. Yeah. I am going to. Goad. Gonna goad something. Yeah, I'm gonna goad. That's a druid with a snake shaman. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna goad groundskeeper. Oh. That seems poor. To me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just removal. <laughs> it's just. Really? I'll pass the turn. I promise I will block. Uh, I'm gonna untap. <laughs> Draw for my turn. Uh, I'm gonna play a mountain. And uh, I guess I have to go to combat. And yeah. I guess I have to attack somebody that isn't James. Yeah. You have two options, neither of which are correct. I'll You're attack good. Bill. Block. <laughs> <laughs> no chill. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> One damage, that's far too high a press. That's, that's a dead groundskeeper. <laughs> and uh, no. I got the grease. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I'm gonna draw. All right. I'm gonna play a forest. And you know what? I think what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna use Cross and Restore to untap this island, and then tap it again, and mm -hmm. cast Experiment Crage. Mm -hmm. Oh, Crage okay. is in the building. That's a dude. Crage, and I'll pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw a turn. That's not a land. Derived information. Information that has <laughs> That is work. true. You can probably understand that if I don't play land as well, so I can wait too much. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, how do I do this? Yeah, let's just do it this way. I'm gonna cast Phyrexian Altar. Uh oh. Oh boy. That's oh boy, indeed. Good one. That's a good one. Oh boy. Indeed. I have no facts. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice the Nether Trader to the Phyrexian Altar uh -huh. to yeah. add a black mana to my mana pool. Got it. Uh, Tesa will trigger. I will get a 1-1 uh, white spirit creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So with that black mana that I have, uh, or I still have one black mana, which is kind of good, uh, I will then sacrifice the spirit for a black mana. Mm -hmm. you got two black. Goes to two. Uh, I will then use one of that mana um, to put to cast or not cast to put the nether herd back in play. Okay. Uh, and then I will just keep doing that over and over again. Yeah. Because you sack it again, going up to two, yep. which makes a spirit. Yep. And then you sacrifice the spirit, go to three, yep. getting one to put the yeah. So it's yep. infinite black. It is infinite, infinite black, black mana. mana. So no what would you like the end state of your loop to be? Do you want nether trader in your graveyard or on the battlefield? I will keep him. I'll put him on the battle. Actually. No. It is actually also infinite mana of every color because once you make infinite black, is yeah. true. just repeat true. True. That is true. Yeah, true. So just infinite mana. Cool. Infinite. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So with my infinite mana of every color. Wait, Sorry, what's the end state of your loop? Do you want Nether Trader in there? Uh, I'll put Nether Trader in play for fun. Okay. I don't sure. know. Yeah. With no spirit. With, with no, no spirit. spirit. Okay. I will then cast Tesa. Uh, the other old, one. Old legend rule. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> old legend rule. <laughs> <laughs> we'll die. <Yeah. laughs> we'll die. Okay. Uh, and then I'll then loop again uh, to have infinite spirits in play. Yeah. Uh, just you in case. Yeah. Just, just in case. So <laughs> I guess uh, the, everyone knows that the spike finger symbol oh, means infinite. Right. Or, okay, that works too. Perfect. Yeah, that cool. many spirits. So, this yeah. is just just yeah. in case. You okay. <laughs> I'm then going to cast Smothering Abomination. Oh no. Oh. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Yes. Whenever I sacrifice a creature, I draw a card. I think you might be able to sacrifice a creature. <laughs> I might be able to. Yeah. Okay. I will sacrifice this many of my infinite. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <You've got laughs> I don't know what number I that is. Draw, draw, draw a number of cards. Yeah, I will draw this. 
I will play a Falcon Wrath Noble. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and I will sacrifice the Smothering Abomination so I do not draw any more cards. Yep. Yep. Uh, you do draw. I do draw one off of that. that. Okay. <laughs> yep. okay. Wow. And two. Then, He's two. almost there. And then you I draw two cards. Actually, I do, oh, sorry, I do two. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we actually lose life. Yeah. Uh, right. Is off he the Smothering Abomination? Yes. yes off yeah. the, yes. So okay. You, so two. Life. No, I had to choose that. That's targeted. Oh, it is. Okay. Who are you? I have not done anything to you, Bill. So why start now? Uh, and 30. then I, yeah. And Mitch is at uh, oh, 41. Gosh. 40, yep. Okay. Okay, 41. Perfect. Right. Uh, I will then sacrifice. Oh no. Are we dead? A, Wait. No. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. What are you at? Uh, not that many. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I might. Oh no, I'm at 39. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I think I can do 39. Yeah, I think uh, that's it. I'm at 38. Wow. I do have a Thornling in hand. Okay. All right. right. So obviously, you so save himself. Awesome. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. That, wow. That does it. Oh wow. my god. That was fun. Hell of a deck. Wow. That was great. That was fast. That's... That was faster than I thought. <laughs> wow. wow. We, uh, I think by Yu-Gi-Oh rules, uh, I think we're banished. This is yours now. Yeah, I think yeah. Mitch gets our studio, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the Commander's Quarter studio. Uh, yes. Close, close I'm quarter Mitch. Studios. We need to change You're out Mitch. these playmats. Uh. <laughs> we are, we are now all Mitch on this blessed day. Oh, okay. So wow. that was a game. I, I, I stumbled a little bit more than I thought I was going to at the gates, but, um, I was able to cast Crash, and he didn't die. He did not I die, at least. <laughs> oh, I, I was going to do some things. I could have exiled uh, him. I should have. Wow. So this is nuts. Uh, you got <laughs> out uh, like an, a combo faster than I thought you were going to. I, much, much me faster. too. Me too, much actually. Faster. Yes, me too. Um, and it was kind of cool that they kind of like cascaded into each other. Like yeah. You started out with a combo to make, you know, black, and then... Yeah. And then you yeah. make that into infinite Part of that into color. white, yeah. part of that into, yeah. Who knew Phyrexian Altar was good, you know? Yeah, uh, that's, right? that card is yeah. only used for fair and balanced things. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Which is why it's $25. So if you want to use yeah. it in one of my $25 budget decks, you have a commander, lands, and then this. And it that's seems it. good, though. It's <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's what <laughs> I was going to say. It's a good thing that that got reprinted because otherwise that would have been, what, like almost half the budget before yeah. it got reprinted? Yeah, it would have, <laughs> like, it would have made the cut. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Holy. It's a fun one. Holy. Yeah. Well, that was incredible. Thank <laughs> you. That was our uh, season finale. Yeah, thanks for coming on the show. Max, yeah. And uh, showing us how to play Magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. Take some pointers on how to combo. <laughs> yeah, this was, this was great. If you want to check out uh, Mitch, uh, like he mentioned, he has deck decks on this deck. Uh, the Commander's Quarters. Yes. On YouTube. Commander. And on Patreon. Yep. And uh, you got a Twitter, you got an Instagram. I do website. have Twitters, Twitter. Instagram, yeah. websites. So you can find those things. You'll, you'll, you'll find them. You'll find them. Yeah, just, no, be in the, just look for the page. Yeah. Just look for the page. Search pigs on Google. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure you guys check out if you are coming from my channel or somewhere else. Make sure you check out the Spike Theater. Their content is amazing. Uh, oh. Buy their playmats. <laughs> subscribe. Like. Patreon, obviously. Everything. So yeah, he's do it. Better he's, than us. The same for this, this guy, of course. If <laughs> yeah. you're from our channel and you've never heard of Mitch, which is kind of unheard of, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't heard of Mitch, he's a great guy, great deck builder. Uh, so please check out his channel, uh, like, subscribe, and everything. Yeah, and like let us know if you want to see uh, crossovers in the future. Uh, we can probably make this happen. Maybe not super often, but <laughs> we can like make it happen. Yeah, I, I just have the like, cross country line, so we're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> just get through custom. Yeah, no big deal. But it's cool. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, joining us. This uh, wraps up season two. Uh, we have some cool stuff coming to you in the off season, uh, and then we will be back on April fourth with the season three premiere. Uh, we are going to be playing some cool decks that didn't get to go off last time, uh, as voted on by our patrons. So uh, make sure you don't miss that one. Uh, April fourth, mark it on your calendars, and we will see you guys then. Awesome. See you next time. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you like this content and you want to see more, make sure you click subscribe. If you love this content, click on the link to our Patreon. Every dollar helps us create more videos like this.